and welcome to these YouTube streets. Where we're not new to this, we're true to this. All right, so we are back on the pizza making journey today again. So in a previous video when I was talking about when we were doing the mini waffle size pizzas, I was telling you about alternatives, okay? So this is an alternative low carb sauce. It does have some sugar in it. So this is the one that I found that was the lowest carbs without making it from scratch. So I have used this over and over again. It has an effect to me in a negative way when it comes to maintaining or losing weight. So um, it is six carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, and four grams of sugar with a half a cup the serving okay so it doesn't have any onions in it so today with the pizza that I'm making because of the audience that I'm trying to serve today with this pizza I am just gonna use this sauce I'm not gonna use the homemade sauce because the homemade sauce has onion pieces in there and I know some people don't like onions like that so just so they can have an opportunity to try the pizza I want to make sure that I serve something that's pleasing to them talk to you about alternative pizza crust that you could buy already made so this is what I was talking about is three carbohydrates two grams of fiber and that's for one third serving of this crust so this is what it looks like you preheat the oven 400, then you put it in for 10 to 12 minutes. You let it cool for 10 minutes. Then you add your toppings to it. And then it says put it on broil. But I suggest you put it back in at the 400 and let it slowly cook again because I tried it on broil and I did not. So this is a good alternative if you don't want to make your own crust so it's already made it's in the freezer aisle it's with other cauliflower pizzas and crust but just make sure it says this because the other ones are not keto friendly they're very high in carbs still so just be careful with that when you're um picking your crust and the only place i found is that so far is walmart if you have a walmart you should be able to find this in the frozen owl. So yeah, so those are your options. So for this piece of crust that we're making, you are going to need one egg, three fourths almond flour, two, te two tablespoons of cream cheese, and a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese. With your mozzarella cheese and cream cheese, what you're gonna do first is you're gonna put it in the microwave for a little bit. Cause you want it to melt together, but you don't want it too hot that when you add your egg, it cooks your egg. So I would do it 30 minutes at a time in your microwave and check on it and mix it and see how it goes. Cause every minute microwave is a little different. Some microwaves get hotter than others. So just Keep an eye on it, pay attention to it, so that way you don't make it too hot, that when you add your egg, like I said, you don't cook your egg, because you don't want to cook your egg. Um, for my pan, I did put parchment paper down, so that way it doesn't stick to my pan, because with the cheese and everything, it will stick to your pan if you don't lay something down. Um, I don't know about oil, if that will work or not, but um, I know parchment paper for sure will work. <laughs> so I still need to put it in longer. But like I said, I would do it 30 seconds at a time. Because, yeah, I'm going to be careful with that. 30 seconds, check it. 30 seconds, check it. Until it's the right consistency that you need. I didn't even keep it on for that whole 30 seconds this time. 
I stopped it at four seconds and it's what I need. So I did leave the cream cheese out for a little bit to make it room temperature. So that way um, it can start softening, softening up before putting it in the microwave. So it's up to you. You don't have to, it doesn't call for it, but it's totally up to you if you wanna do that. So it does not say seasonings, but now we know that's, you know, sometimes seasonings can make and break you. So I do like to season my dough anyways, even though it doesn't say it. I do not measure it. I'm just pouring in my desire of what I want. I'm just using garlic and Italian seasoning. I'm not using any salt base. So I'm going to add my flour. And I'm gonna add my egg. Okay, my whisk to mix that up first. You don't have to do it like this. I just wanted to do it like this. It's happening. And then I'm gonna combine it with my cheese. So you're pretty much making it into a dough. I don't wanna use my hands though. It's like I probably am gonna have to use my hands in here. <laughs> my hands are clean, okay? All right, just so you know, I just washed my hands with good old fashioned soap and water. I just don't like having this type of stuff on my hands. So we're trying to mix it well. It's very, yeah, sticky like that. So there we go. You do not have to add seasoning. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna scoop this out, put it on my parchment paper. This is why I don't like doing this. Yes, I am bougie like that. I've always been bougie like that, even as a kid. So, yeah, I like it all. It is so windy outside. Y'all could probably hear it. All right, so I'm gonna put my oven on 425. You're gonna bake this for 10 minutes. I'm gonna put this on top of it, this parchment paper on top of it. That can spread it out without sticking to my hand. So there's that. Helps you spread it out. If you have a rolling pan, a rolling pin, that would be so beneficial to you if you have one. A small one for the big one to make it necessarily fit. I'm just trying to spread it out. I'm using this shape pan because this is what fits in my oven for sure. So you can use a circle. I just have a smaller oven available to me. So I'm going to use what works. But if you have a normal size oven, you can use a circle pan, a normal circle pan. But I do like the shape better anyway. Especially when you cut and serve it. It's just different. So I'm just trying to press it out as much as possible, get it even. So she cook evenly. To my 
in, and the other. Okay, for those 10 minutes that it needs them. If you want a thicker crust, I would suggest to go with the recipe. Um, the crust to start cooking. Um, I'm going to do simple toppings on this one, just because like I said, the audience that I'm trying to serve, I want to make sure they have an option. Um, so I'm going to use the sauce, pepperoni on one side. Pepperoni and cheese on one side and just cheese them on the other side. Just so um, the ones who don't like all that topping, extra toppings and stuff, they don't have to uh, compromise what they like or don't like. So, it has been about 10 minutes and it is nice golden brown. So I am going to go ahead and take it out. This is what it looks like, okay? You got homemade sauce also, so it's totally up to you what sauce you want to use. Um, if you want to say it's a low carb, just, you know, make sure it's low carb sauce. So that looks That's enough sauce. Put it on too much and make it so good. Okay. So I have mozzarella cheese and Parmesan shredded cheese in here. So that's why it looks like two different textures of cheese because it is. You could just use mozzarella cheese. You don't have to do that. I just wanted to do it. I'm just spreading cheese on there, however, you know, you like it. You can make it as cheesy or non-cheesy as you want. Just mind you that there's cheese in the crust, so, you know, you don't have to put too much cheese on it if you don't want to. So half of this pizza will be a pepperoni, but you can do it however you want to do it. You can add your veggies, you can add your other types of meat to it, your chicken, your sausages, and things like that. Um, bacon bits, however you desire to make your pizza and the audience that you're, sh you're serving. So, you know, just keep that in mind if it's something that you're doing for somebody else or, you know, of course you're gonna keep that in mind, especially if you have children. You gotta do what they like because you don't wanna waste food. So, and kids, yeah, there's something else, okay? I know, because I worked with them for a very long time. And they're, one minute they love it, next minute they act like they never ate it before and they can't stand it, which is amazing to me. You just ate it last week, I prepared it the same exact way, you loved it. Now this week, you don't even want it. You act like it's a worst thing ever no not even next week it's like two weeks later i did exactly the same you gotta like you i understand kids are funny so i'm gonna put this back in um five to ten minutes on the same time and the same temperature i didn't change the temperature or anything oh and especially toddlers toddlers yeah they are Funny. They're hilarious. Especially when it comes to food. You really don't like, did I miss something? No, you didn't miss nothing. They're just picky like that, okay? They just make decisions depending on how the wind is blowing that day. So yeah, so we're gonna let it bake for a little bit longer. Um depending on how you like your pizza, how you like it to look, uh, depending on how long you would, you know, keep it in there. If you like that almost burnt look, you know, you're more than welcome to do that. It's totally up to you how you wanna do it. I'm just introducing the recipes and ideals for you to try um, that I know that helps me out in my lifestyle commitment.
because it is a commitment, okay? It's not um, jump in and jump out. We're not doing double jump, dutch. So um, it is definitely a lifetime commitment when you're doing this. Or, you know, maybe you don't have to do the lifetime commitment. Maybe you just want some healthy alternative for your kids. Like I said before, keto is not for everybody. So you really have to consult um, a doctor, a health specialist to figure out what's best for you. Um, doing different tests and things like that and seeing what your body is compatible with. Um, sometimes they'll do blood work and things like that. Um, and sometimes they'll do like a food fast where you fast away from certain type of foods for a certain amount of time to see how your body do without that food in your system. So it just depends. I am not a specialist at all. Um, everybody's journey will be different. Um, the modifications, depending on what you need, so yeah, so I needed to get rid of all the gluten type foods because it was making me sick. So the older I became is when my body said, you know what, we don't like it. So you're gonna have to fix that. So yeah, so that's why it's easy for me to commit to the keto journey because it took things out of my lifestyle eating habits and made me better, healthier. You want to be healthy so you can complete whatever mission or purpose that God has for you, okay? So, because when you're called and you're chosen, you ain't got no choice and it doesn't matter what your health is. God is still calling you to do great work. This health journey is not just focusing on food and your desire to eat certain things and things like that it's also spiritual discipline that you need to work on also at the same time so don't just work on your natural body and not work on your spiritual body also i'm gonna do a bit because i'm noticing one side is getting darker than the other and i want to evenly bake I like to bake evenly, but it's starting to have that golden brownness to the cheese. So when you are warming up this pizza, the best way to do it is to put it either in a toaster oven, in a toaster oven, or a regular oven, and rewarm it up. If you do it in the microwave, it might be a little bit on the foggy side. So just keep that in mind. We'll look at that. See? There we go. There we go. Look at that. I will let that sit so it can become crispy. Okay. And then cut it. I will not cut it yet. Wait. I just want to take those extra edges off of the pan because I don't want it to stick. So there you have it. That's your pizza. I would just slice into it with a pizza cutter. Good. That is, that is, that's it. So try it, add your own little flavor to it, you know, adding more seasoning, adding more toppings to um, cater to your audience or cater to you, how you like your pizza. Enjoy, enjoy. Let me know down at the bottom if you wanna try some other recipes, um, other styles of foods that you would like to see. Um, any questions you have for me, um, like, comment, subscribe. Come on, y'all, subscribe. Yeah, do the thing. So yeah, there goes my pizza. And you have a great and wonderful day. We out of here.